Waves have a magnetic draw for me. When I'm walking along the beach or cliff path with my dog, I'll be looking at the sea and observing how the waves are, depending on the weather. The weather is a source of inspiration, too, in the way that it influences our mood. I like to think of the state of the sea in different weathers as a metaphor for life. I'm Claire Maiden and I'm a jewellery designer and goldsmith. I design fine and demi-fine jewellery uh, with a focus on wearability and understated elegance from my workshop here in Southwest Cornwall. This is my lovely garden studio with a very inspirational view looking out over the valley. It really is my happy place. In the Wave Collection, I've tried to capture the feeling that I get when I'm close to the sea. When the weather's calm and you look out to the sea and it looks like rippling silk with waves that are gently rolling in and sparkling as they meet the shore. That elemental sense of being when everything feels calm and effortless and I feel confident and in control of life. The Curve of Diamonds was inspired by that point when a wave is rolling in along the shore and at the very last moment, just before it loses its energy and sinks into the sand, you catch a glimpse of a little arc of light, sometimes with a bit of froth on top. When I design, I take lots of photos, although it's often as much about the feeling something gives me as the actual image. I start by sketching on paper, then I like to design in 3D. Waves are fundamentally all about lines, so using my computer as my sketchbook, I explore different lines, creating shapes which I then manipulate by stretching and bending and twisting to see how they work. I use the computer software to work the form like it was a piece of putty. My approach to design is driven by form and function. It's important for me that my pieces are primarily comfortable to wear and lovely to touch. It's all about how they make you feel. Smooth shapes with beautiful but unobtrusive stone settings that won't snag on your clothes in styles that work as well with a t-shirt and jeans as they do with a suit or a cocktail dress. Inherently versatile, Wave is available in both gold and silver, set with diamonds or with coloured gemstones. Pieces that can be worn individually or stacked, allowing you to build a collection. The hairpin and scarf ring offer more unusual ways to wear fine jewellery. The rings have a profile that allows them to stack beautifully, but in quite an unusual form. They just fit and they snuggle into your finger. Um, and I love the fact that they're versatile and that you can change the colours and that you can either wear them as just on their own or you can stack two or three of them together like a crashing wave going over with different sapphires and topaz and aquamarines. The hairpin is a combination of hand forging and CAD. I also use a combination of textures, frosting and the high polish to accentuate the different parts of it and to pull out the contours. But the way that it's designed, it can hold your hair up in just the one pin it doesn't need any bobby pins so quite a bit of research went into exactly how the contours worked and how tight it needed to be to grip the hair and how it flowed around the head with an understated design like this the most important thing is the finish so i've been buffing them and polishing them trying to get rid of every previous scratch that was created before and here I've got one of the scarf rings that I've been polishing up. I've been through the emery sticks and I've given it a first blue polish with uh, the Fordham pendant motor. And it's not its final polish, but it's now ready to go for hallmarking or hallmarking first. I'll then get it back and send it for setting. I've been working with this particular setter in the jewellery quarter for a while now and she understands the style that I like, the raised grains that creates a frothy effect along the side there. I believe very strongly that you can't call a piece of jewellery fine jewellery if in its production it's harmed the health or well-being of people or the environment or the planet. To me that's just not fine. So therefore it's not fine jewellery. So I like to work with ethically sourced materials and sustainably produced materials wherever I can. I choose to work with lab diamond and to work with ocean diamonds on either fair trade metals or recycled metals.
by design so that when people wear the pieces of jewellery, they feel an inner confidence, they feel an inner calm. They're often busy professional women who want pieces, who are juggling a lot in their lives, juggling their careers, maybe families. So their lives are very busy, they work very hard and they expect their jewellery to work as hard as they do. And my collections aim just people that have their own sense of style. It's not fashion forward, it's not trying to follow trends, it's trying to be classic and individual and stylish in its own right and very, very versatile and very comfortable to wear. I think comfort and wearability for me are right at the top of the list. Yes, it has to look lovely, but if you don't feel comfortable wearing it, you won't wear it.